Uh, yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the Tetrarch, which is a Tier 2 uh, light tank. And the map is Himmelsdorf. And this is my first time playing this map. It's got a 4 second reload time, 3.5 seconds. A lot of people have them now because I just logged in and I got one. I guess maybe I completed some sort of a mission that awarded me this tank. Okay, he's dead. Go after this T seven car. Ready to fire. Let's see how we do. Frontal assault. Penetration. Penetration. So I'm going to hit him as I run. Oh, the cruiser is dead. Got to keep an eye on that map. Make a right turn over here. Ready to fire. Where did they go? Now I know there's a tank destroyer in the area. The question is, where is he? And the key with the tank destroyers is to drive right past them. Ready to fire. Enemy is hit. Penetration. One of our tracks is dead. So I tried to switch tanks, it didn't really work out. I probably should not have gone around the corner, I should have just sat there and kept on nailing him. Uh, it was a mistake that I made. Um, it looks like our team is doing pretty good, we just might win. They're all up here on the hill. So obviously our allies don't know that they need to go to the caps. Yeah, they're just going to destroy this guy. Look at that. That's the way you gang up on a tank. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win. Maybe that Cruiser 3 can finish the job. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, we lost. Okay, so that's the Tetrarch. And, to be honest, I don't want this tank. Uh, perhaps some of the lower tier players will enjoy playing it. I just have way too many tanks right now. I've got at least 30 tanks. And I don't have the time to play it. I don't even have time to play my Matilda 4 or my TOG, or my KV-2. So I'm going to sell my Tetrarch. Keep the crew, the incredible crew that they gave me. Um, so what the accelerated crew training does is it gives you a bonus for the guy who has the lowest amount. If you go here where it says detailed report, you see where it says, like, uh, bonus for premium vehicle tier? It says 236. Oh, no, you got the 16 over here with the um, free experience. If you turn the accelerated on, you might not get one of those or both of those. And instead of getting whatever that is, 
you'll get your experience, which is over here, it says received maximum, it says 340, or the 577, whatever this is the total. Normally, this guy is going to get the 577, and this guy is going to get the 577. This guy is going to get double if he, were, if he were the lowest. But actually, you can see this, the top one is highlighted in orange. It's because he's the lowest, so he would get the double with the accelerated on. With the accelerated off, he does not. And instead, you get some of the experience that's going to go up here into uh, free experience or something like that. So it's a little bit confusing. You can look at the... Um, you can look at the explanations on the company website. They'll give you the exact formula. But it's a trade-off. You either get one type of experience that you can use to research modules, or you get experience for your crew. What I do is I use the accelerated for all of my guys because I want them to get better. So that is the Tetrarch. Let's see if we can look at how it's equipped. We've got three crew members, 64 top speed, which is really good. This would be great for spotting. The rate of fire, three and a half seconds, 64 penetration, 121 with the gold, with the gold rounds, really good. The aiming time, 2.3, not so great. It's got 16 armor, which is rather weak. 545, it's got a great signal range. Um, it seems pretty zippy. You know, we were on solid ground. Uh, I don't know how it's going to be on the other type of ground, but look at that. That's a tier 4 gun on a tier 2 tank. A tier 4 gun, which is why it gets that amazing penetration of 121 with those premium rounds. And unfortunately, the weaker armor. So I would say this is good for spotting and for s possibly for sniping. Okay, so I'm going to sell it. The way you sell it is you go to sell, and you have to type in the total. They used to have it where you didn't type in the total, and what happened was uh, people would sometimes accidentally sell tanks that were high-tier tanks. So they added this feature to prevent people from doing that. I'm going to have the extra garage slot. I'm going to go to my depot, go to modules. Actually, that one... I don't know if I have any modules because of the type of tank it is. I don't know if you, if you sell an elite tank, I don't know if the modules show up in the depot or not. I'm going to sell all that. I'm going to go to my shells. It looks like everything is fine. And I am going to go to my barracks. And these are Americans. Oh no wait, I think the Tetrarch is a Russian tank. I wonder why these guys are highlighted. Some are in white. Oh, okay. Now, this guy you want to keep. He's got 44% recon. This guy, get rid of him. This guy, he's got 78% camouflage. This one's got nothing. We're going to get rid of him. Uh, that's the guy with the camo. This one has recon. This one's got camo. That one's got relaying. This one has nothing, so we're going to get rid of him. And so I've gotten rid of the crew. And basically, now it's as if I never had the Tetrarch. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below.